is a translational research program that helps academicians take early discoveries in biomedicine and uh, mature them to a project that uh, can impact patients and society. In 2011, professor at Stanford have invited Colin Masseri Membral to come and give a talk at Stanford. In that talk, he highlighted the fact that drugs that is used to treat patients with HIV AIDS, or components of a drug uh, called efavirenz, is metabolized in sub-Saharan Africa and very differently from Caucasian. Over 30 to 40 percent of the people in, in, in Zimbabwe have very bad reactions to this drug, whereas in Europe only 5 percent. So we have come up with a genetics tool which helps us to identify those 40 percent who are likely to have very serious adverse drug reactions. And those would be given a drug dose which is individualized or personalized to their genetic makeup. I went to the World Health Summit in Berlin where I talked to um, one of the people in charge of distributing the drug in sub-Saharan Africa. And what he told me is this drug, that the reason why HIV AIDS is still common in sub-Saharan Africa and in Zimbabwe is because patients don't take their medication. And then he said it is a cultural thing. And I think that attitude was rather um, the trigger for, for me to become more um, involved in this project. First, you don't bring in drugs which don't work on your people. And when they come, you give them at the right dose, which do not create a new disease, sort of adverse drug reactions, which you now also have to treat. And for us to understand how to translate that knowledge and finding into a clinical solution, that was one of the reasons why we sent some of our students for training on how do you translate a lab result into a clinical solution. I talked more with, with Colin and clearly there was a need to identify a test that it will distinguish the metabolism rate from one patient to the other. So the idea that we had was to bring students from Zimbabwe to Stanford to help them develop this essay and uh, automated it so that they can apply it back in sub-Saharan Africa and then develop a clinical trial that could show whether the drug is equally efficacious when those appropriate to the genetic traits that uh, determine the metabolism of the drug. Sending those uh, cohorts of students for training helped us to come up with the solution which we called GENDOS which is now a clinical solution to addressing the side effects of the antiretroviral drugs. So we believe this is a very uh, clear result or outcome from this interaction within the Spark family. The story of Spark Zimbabwe and specifically the project that Colin Masseri Membwa is running in the ABAS is a perfect exemplification that know-how, um, smart, experience is not restricted geographically, that there are terrific scientists everywhere in the world and many of them are making discoveries that can impact patients not only locally, and as in the case of, of Colin, but also uh, globally. Instead of me just depending on two experts in genetics in Zimbabwe, um, I can now access hundreds. Then secondly, we do not have a history or a tradition of translational research. And SPAC is made up of people who have explored this value chain. So Africa can then tap into those diverse experiences of how to transition from discovery, development and deployment of products. And by being a member of SPAC, we become uh, beneficiaries of, uh, of the collective skill.